the band Chud Chud. I think there are two guys from the States and they just went That was their record. Imagine that with drums. Behind every hit song is an undeniable beat. So why doesn't anyone talk to the drummer about it? We're getting behind the kit with some of the best drummers in North America. This is Drummer to Drummer. How much press would you do compared to other members of the band? Now we can take that as a two-prong approach with your time in Bahamas, but also with your time as uh, the Weaker Than Drummer. Yesterday morning, Afi did more interviews uh, before noon than I did in my entire life. How did the Winnipeg music scene, uh, not any rock, not punk, but just the Winnipeg scene, what did it, how did it form your career as a drummer? One day my brother came home with a, a Black Flag and Circle Jerks tape from somebody at school. And this is early 80s when Winnipeg had a, an incredibly flourishing hardcore punk rock scene. And uh, every great band that you can think of of that era was making a stop in Winnipeg. So. At, at the age of 11, I, I got to see Black Flag and Dead Kennedys play in the same year. And that sort of thing kind of, you know, it, it inspires you. Uh, it was exciting music, and, 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 and it seemed democratic that I, I could try to do this. And, you know, it doesn't have to be, like, very polished and perfect. It could be just aggressive, and you can express yourself. So it, 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 Winnipeg was a great, fertile place. How did you start um, working with AFI and Bahamas? Well, my wife and I, Julie, were at uh, went and saw Nico Case play at uh, at Massey Hall, and um, and it was a great show. Our friend, a Winnipeg drummer Barry Mrochnik, who plays with Vinnie Haley, at the time was playing with uh, Nico Case, so we went to see him play. And then at the end of the show, I turned over and AFI was sitting there, and I had been listening to Pink Strat all week because my friend Greg Nelson a Winnipeg drummer, played on it. And <laughs> I said, I've been listening to your record all week. It's really great, man. If you ever need drums, you know, let me know. And he just looked at him and said, what are you doing next week? And uh, <laughs> oh. and that's eight years ago. And like, you know, five years later, we're headlining. We sold out Massey Hall together. You mentioned Julie, your wife, um, who's one of the most talented violinists I've ever witnessed. Absolutely, um, yeah. So she is kind of just as busy as you are on the road, you have a young family, how do you mentally uh, get around the logistics of the mom and dad having to go away on tour? Does that ever get in the way? It's really difficult because neither of us are in, uh, it, well, we're not playing in the same project, which can make it easier, like Evan and Amy from Stars can bring their children on the bus with the nanny and make it work, or with Broken Social Scene, they're both on the bus make it work. We're in two separate projects, so we're very reliant on family, and that's a huge reason we moved back to Winnipeg. You've mastered the art of um, simplicity and discipline and showmanship, in that you play beats that, when you hear them on a record, you're like, oh yeah, I can play it. And then watching you back in 2001, you're so like, this guy, is he's, I, correct me if I'm wrong, when you were playing the church in Brampton and with the Fembots, did you play a saw? Yeah, I played saw for a while. Okay, the fact that I remember that you played a saw in 2001 <laughs> means that I was floored by what you did on the drums. When it was, whether it was mallets and brushes, use of a hi-hat cymbal on a snare drum, it just changed how I viewed drumming, drum playing. Mm -hmm. um, was it ever your goal to make sure that you pushed limits when you were writing a song? Like, how did you, how did you um, approach the songwriting process kind of with that mentality? Kind of repurposing the tools that I already had as a drummer instead of becoming more efficient at the drums and learning faster roles and stuff like that. I would displace things, invert things. I would use mallets or I'd put things like metallic objects on the drums and just shift the, the focal point of the beat around the drum kit a little bit. The last few years playing with AFI has been a huge uh, sort of 
it's it's all about minimalism and all about groove and all about the, the less you can say, the more space you can leave, the better. And that's incredibly challenging yeah. to do. Oh, it's yeah. very hard to do. It's like, okay, you're playing eighth notes. You've been playing eighth notes for 25 years. Why don't you just play quarter notes? And you go, yeah, no problem. Then you start doing it. You go, oh, God, this is hard. Mm -hmm.